Rogers, we get a little later into the afternoon today. Temperatures will climb back up into the 50s. Right now, we're watching off to our west some light showers working their way through some light flurries. We don't expect big impacts here, but you may see a brief flurry somewhere in northwestern or northeastern Connecticut. First alert live radar showing these radar returns from Thompson to Union and Stafford. We don't think it's a very big deal, though, and as we get a little later into the morning, temperatures right now even above freezing for most of the state, and they'll be back in the 40s by 9 o'clock. We're near 50 degrees at lunchtime, and there's the shower icon appearing for 5 o'clock this evening. That's when we expect the cold front to swing through. Here's First Lord Futurecast showing the timing of these showers, mostly isolated in nature. Uh, we'll see them start to ramp up around 3 or 4 this evening, and they'll continue through about 8 o'clock tonight, and then after that, we will dry things back out. Winds out of the northwest, gusty overnight tonight which means it's going to feel even colder than it actually is. Blustery to begin the day tomorrow. Feels like temps in the teens and single digits. This is your first alert to keep that winter coat nearby. Even tomorrow afternoon, it's still only going to feel like the 20s, and those uh, wind chills are right back down into the teens for Friday morning. Then we've issued a first alert for Saturday. Periods of rain expected, one to two inches of rain total, which could impact your outdoor plans for the first weekend of spring. Highs today, upper 40s, northwestern Connecticut. Elsewhere, we are in the lower 50s. Overnight tonight, we fall into the the 20s and then low 30s along the shoreline. Skies will gradually clear out colder and blustery. We'll begin tomorrow feeling like the teens and high temperatures tomorrow only make it back up to around 40 degrees. Windy tomorrow, gusts to or over 30 miles an hour. Sunny on Friday with temps in the 40s. And then there's the first alert Saturday for rain becoming likely. Better model agreement really on the timing of all of this too. Here's uh, the American and European Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, and Saturday evening. And you'll notice that uh, models in much better agreement on the timing of this. It keeps the rain around pretty much all day on Saturday, unfortunately. So if you had any outdoor plans, make sure you've got a plan B. We are expecting that as we get into uh, the day on Sunday, we'll stay breezy, temps in the lower 40s, and spring tries to make a bit of a comeback next week. By Tuesday, we're forecasting highs in the uh, low to mid 50s, which is uh, right around average for this time of year, maybe just slightly above.